to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you how you can make this t-shirt. As you could see, I used two colors. I used to make this stitch when I was younger. To me, this is a vintage stitch, but it's beautiful. It's still beautiful, right? Well, I will give you the step by step. Remember that I love to show you and I love to teach you in the easiest way. Well, first I will give you the material list and then the step by step, but before, subscribe. Well, for this baby t-shirt, we will use 200 grams, 100 grams in each color, okay? We will use this light material, it's a number 3, I will use this brand, and we will use the hook of number 3. Well, we will make this t-shirt for a baby of one year old. We will start making the neck and we will make 70 chains. At the end of the 70 stitches, make two chains more. We will count and in the fourth, we will make the first double crochet. And like this, we are going to continue the whole row, making double crochet of two crochet. At the end of the row, turn around, we will go up with two chains and we are going to alternate. We are going to continue making double crochet, but once we are going to place the hook in the back and once we are going to take the hook in front, okay? We are going to alternate. This is the elastic stitch. So like this, we are going to continue the whole row and we are only going to make one row. Well, we will finish the row with that double crochet, not in relief, like this, simple, okay? Well, now we are going to divide and point it out the corners. We will count from the beginning to here, 12. And right here, in the 12th stitch, we will put a marker. Again, we will count 12. So right here we have 12 and then we will count 22, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Then for the other sleeve we will count 12 again, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and 12. And then for the rest, we will have 12, okay? So we have the exact numbers. And the markers is where the corners will be, okay? So as you could see, here we have 12. Well, then now we are going to use the other color. Well, now with this new color, we will go up with three chains. And we are going to make a double crochet. Then a second double crochet, then one chain, we will skip one, sorry, here one chain, we will skip one and right here again, one double crochet, then next to it a second double crochet, then one chain, we will skip one and then again two double crochet and we will continue like this until we arrive to the marker making two double crochet, one in each chain, with one chain between. So here we almost arrive to the marker, and in the marker right here, we are going to make a shell. We are going to make two double crochet together, then two chains, and again two double crochet in the same space. Well, and like this, we are going to continue the whole row, making two double crochet in each space and one chain, and where is the marker, we are going to repeat and we are going to make a shell. So we are going to make here in the markers the shell, remember. And in the rest, we are going to repeat. Well, see you at the end of the row. Well, at the end of the row, we are going to close in circle we are going to slip one and then later here we will put a bottom to close the neck. We, well look, here we have one, two, three, four and the shell. 
Then again, we have one, two, three, four, and the shell. Then for the front, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the shell. Then four and four, okay? Well, now we are going to change color again. Again, I will use the thread that I have in the back. I will continue using this fuchsia uh, hot pink. Mm, help me, which color is it? And as you could see, without cutting the thread, in the last row, I leave it there and I will just pull in the back and again, I will take the thread. I'm going to make a single crochet in the back like this to take the stitch. We will start with a single crochet. We will make a knot and then we will continue with this color. We will go up with two chains and then in the space a single crochet. Again two chains and in the space a single crochet. Remember where we made the last chain. Right there between we are going to make the single crochet like this the whole row and when we arrive to the shell it will change a little bit but I will show you. Well here we arrive before we made two chains, a single crochet then two chains and in the same space a single crochet and we will create a kind of loop right inside. Then two chains and we will continue. Remember where we have the shell we are going to make the loop. Well now we finished the row. We are going to slip one to close and now again without cutting the thread we are going to continue and we will change color. We will go up inside, we will slip one to start with the new color and we will go up with two chains. We will make a double crochet inside then one chain, sorry I made two, but one chain and then inside the last two chains that we made we are going to make right there two double crochet then one chain then two double crochet again inside we are going to repeat the row that we made with this salmon color remember then one chain two double crochet inside well we are almost arrived to the shell and we will repeat Remember what we made? Well, we made a shell. So inside the loop, we are going to make two double crochet together, then two chains, and again in the same space, two double crochet. So remember, where we have the loop, we are going to make the shell, and in the rest of the stitch, we will continue making two double crochet and one chain. Well, like this, the whole row, and we will continue with this color. Well, and we will repeat this series of two rows until we get the long of our jog. Well, look, I finished, I made five rows. I respect the stitch and I follow the instructions. Now for the sixth row, we are going to crochet just a half from here, just a half of the shell of the corner. And we are going to make the other half of the shell in the other side. And this will be the armhole. So right here we are going to make the other half of the shell and we will continue all around. Well, if you want to make this um, blouse, this t-shirt for a bigger size, here is your opportunity to make it. Please not increase rows in the neck. You are going to increase more rows for the jock and here in the sleeve in the armhole you will make more chains and this will open the t-shirt a little bit and it will make um, a bigger size. So with this row you will define the size so be careful and for now we will stop making the corners we will stop making the shells. For now on we are only going to continue making the stitch okay we are going to also alternate the colors and we are going to make as many rows as we need according to the size and according to the length of the t-shirt that we want if you want you can make a dress too and make more rows we are going to repeat the same in the other corner too for the armhole 
and the rest we will the same okay we will continue with the same stitch and for now we will leave the sleeves like this well I made more rows and this is the length that I want I made one two three four five six seven eight and nine rows of double crochet and we will finish with a double crochet row now we are going to cut this salmon thread we are going to continue just with the hot pink thread and right here we are going to make a knot it's important okay then I will show you how we are going to continue well now we are only going to continue with this color we will go up with three chains and we are going to make double crochet over double crochet here where we have the chain we are just going to skip it and continue so we are going to make double crochet over double crochet and this means that we are going to be reducing some stitches we are going to start making the ending of this t-shirt and we are going to repeat this stitch we are going to make the elastic but first let's finish this row well at the end of the row we are going to slip one to close and right away we are going to place the hook in the back take the stitch and we will go up with three chains and we are going to alternate once we are going to place the hook in front and once we are going to place the hook in the back and like this we are going to make the elastic stitch and like this we are going to continue the whole row see you at the end well I finished the row so far I like it how it looks with only one row of elastic if you want you can make more I decided to make the same that I made in the neck well now we are going to make the sleeves we will use the salmon color so we are going to uh, make the same stitch that we used to make with the salmon color and we will repeat we are going to continue all around with this stitch and if you want you can make more rows you can make a long sleeve and at the end um, you can make an elastic too for the cuff but well you will decide I will make a short sleeve so I will finish with this row well look I made one row more with the same stitch and now I think it's enough with these two rows and now I'm going to make a row of elastic stitch uh, we are going to repeat the stitch that we made for the neck and for the bottom and we are going to continue using this salmon color if you want you can change color like you want okay well we are going to repeat the same in the other sleeve remember so let's finish the sleeves and see we will see how it looks so remember we are repeating what we made here well just making a review here we only made two rows with the same stitch in one side and with the other one and we finished making the elastic stitch also in both sleeves and uh, if you want you can make it longer okay you will decide and remember that I made the same in one side than in the other one so we finished making three rows with the salmon color and we finished making the elastic and at the end I didn't tell you but I make one row more of elastic using the salmon color in the back I just put a bottom here and with this we finish remember at the end just hide all the loosened threads that we may have if you want you can iron very gently using a protection under and well remember that you can make this uh, t-shirt for many sizes I gave you the secret uh, and I teach you how okay so I hope that you have enjoyed making this t-shirt with me remember this is for a one year old
Well, I hope that you have enjoyed making this t-shirt with me. I love it. It is so easy as I teach you. You can make it in different sizes and you can make it in different colors too. If you want, you can make the sleeve longer or you can make more rows to make a uh, dress like you want. Okay, I hope that you make it and I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope that you have learned a new technique and that you use this stitch too for any other idea that you may have. Well, before you go, it's important that you subscribe, that you give me a like. But well, thank you so much. See you. Bye.